Hey, I'm Clint Decker with Bluish Pixel. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on green screen removal for still photos in Adobe After Effects. Um, yesterday was my son's birthday party and it was Harry Potter themed and we had the idea of uh, taking a photo of every kid that came and then we removed the green screen while they were there at the party um, and added in a Harry Potter background and then printed out the picture and each kid made their own um, picture frame with a magnet on the back of it and then so we printed out the photo while they were still at the party and then it was part of their um, you know present that they that the you know going going home gift that they got party favors so uh, right here is a video so far it's a time lapse of setting up the equipment um, I have a, a paper um, back, you know, seamless paper roll in my studio of, of green screen that I usually use. But um, if you're going on location, I have an expandable uh, or collapsible background that has green on one side and blue on the other side. Um, I'm using two umbrellas with the back bla uh, black backs, so that way the when I'm lighting the green screen separately, you don't want the light to overspill. On, on your subject so so you want to make sure you light the background separate from the from the person um, so I'm using uh, three studio lights that I just bought off eBay they're really cheap I think the whole entire you know uh, e eBay studio light kit was probably you know maybe 200 bucks or something and it came with uh, three 300 watt variable lights and some umbrellas and then right there you can see I'm using this uh, speed light as my fourth light that I'm using to trigger this is the first shot taken you can see it's it's overexposed so I dropped it down that's a little too underexposed um, then right there's it, it looks like it's just right um, here is a photo of someone that actually walked in front of the screen before I had lit the subject so you can see that the lighting you know the subject it is not properly lit until you actually have your front two lights on. These are just uh, more photos when I was testing the thing, and then here's the final result. Um, and then after you remove the background, there is the picture. I do my green screen removal using Adobe After Effects CS5. Um, CS4 is actually easier, and CS5 they change the way that you export the final file. So when you open up After Effects, you just want to create a new composition. Um, you want to make sure that the dimensions of the project would probably be set to you know 1920 by 1080. But what you want to do is make sure that the dimensions are the same dimensions of your photo. So in my case, the dimensions uh, is, is a portrait photo 13. 3,744 by 5,616. So you just want to copy those dimensions right here. So width 3744, height 5616. Um, you might need to uncheck the lock aspect ratio. Make sure your pixel aspect ratio is set to square pixels. I set my frame rate to one frame per second because we're just when you're doing one single photo, you don't need to do a 30 frame a second you know composition the background color we'll just set that to uh, white real quick okay so now you have your composition you want to drag your photo that you're going to remove the color into your project and then you take the photo drag it onto your composition and over in the effects window just search for key light it's, uh, it comes with After Effects. You can click key light, drag it over to your photo, and then the effect controls shows up over here next to screen color. You click the eyedropper and select uh, the color you want to remove. Usually you select the color close to their body because um, it's going to keep your shadows and highlights in the, it just removes green. Or, the, or whatever color you select. If I select their skin, it's going to remove their skin. Um, if you select the green, it'll remove the green. Um, if you 
if you um, look close next to the um, sometimes you'll see some shadows and reflections uh, over like down here in the corner um, if you really need to get rid of that you can um, bring up the screen grain a little bit and you'll see that it'll start going away but the problem is when you bring up the screen grain it's also going to cut cut away closer to the hair and it doesn't look as real so I usually like to leave it at a hundred and that's usually good enough because when I bring the photo into my uh, you know, put it on top of the background, I end up outlining the <clears throat> photo anyway, you know, with a lasso and then feathering it. So from here, what we're going to do is uh, export. In CS5, this is different. In CS4, you just went to File, Export, and there was an option here called Export uh, Image Sequence, and you would choose Ping, and you would tell it to do one frame, and it just saved, saved the ping. That was all you had to do. It was really easy. In CS5, they completely changed it. They made a render queue. So you have to go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. And then it brings up this uh, module that you need to set the output module. And we're going to make sure you select the format as ping. And then um, and it's important you did, you only did one frame a second. Because if you if you left it at 30 frames a second, it you know, you're going to start exporting hundreds of photos. So I do one frame a second, a one second composition. That way when I do my export I don't have to worry about modifying my work area. Otherwise make sure your work area is only set to one frame. Um, on your video output, the channels, you have to make sure that it's, it is set to RGB and alpha. Again this is only CS5 and CS4 and below it was just, you know, as soon as you selected ping, it automatically kept the alpha channel. Um, in, in CS5, you have to actually specify that you're keeping the alpha channel. Um, once you set your output name, you, you know, ch choose the folder, and then you just click render. On my laptop, when I was doing this at the actual event, my laptop's a lot slower than my computer, so the export rendering time took, took about... 25 to 35 seconds per photo so it was kind of annoying um, once it saves the photo you'll see it's right here um, go ahead and open up your image editing program I use PaintShop Pro because it's lightweight um, I use Photoshop for some things but usually only skin touch-ups and stuff like that so we're gonna drag your photo into your program and grab your background. So here's my background that I'm going to use. Here's my photo. I grab the lasso tool and just try to, you know, go close to the edge. You really don't have to be that careful because I mean, we already did the green screen removal. So this is just to kind of help get rid of some of the, um, you know, highlights and shadows in your background. If you perfectly lit your background, you wouldn't have any highlights and shadows. But when you're working with tight spaces where you can't get your lights exactly perfectly set up, this is fine. I usually feather the selection just to kind of fade out the edges a little bit. And then um, copy your photo and stick it as a new layer on top of your background. In this case, I'm going to resize this top layer just so they look proper look the proper size I'm going to stick them between these two pillars here and there's your photo right there and as you can see if you go into the edges all the edges are anti-alias smooth you don't have to worry about uh, you know any of the you know their hairs it, it, it removes everything even if you had a reflection in the glasses of green it will remove that actually it'll actually make it go disappear so you would probably see the background shining through so you might need to you know make sure that you don't have a reflection of green in the glasses or it will remove um, that too and then sometimes if someone's wearing something green you'll notice that it'll delete their you know part of their shirt you can always just bring in the original photo too that was not edited or, or that you didn't remove the green and then you could just go in and grab the green out of 
the part that got deleted. 